Hi, I'm Eric Kern. I'm a senior principal consultant with Lenovo Professional Services. Today I want to talk about our Think Agile CP platform. Now, Think Agile CP is our, our full cloud solution. It's an interesting concept. The way it works is there is actually a, um, a set of hardware that has a, um, it's really an integration or I'll just call it a router. So there's a router at this point, there's a firewall built in, there's some compute right in the platform itself, and there's storage built into the platform. Now this is a modern type of hardware solution. The compute itself, it's running software, so it actually is all virtualized. We're using KVM to virtualize it. The storage itself leverages very fast NVMe solid state storage. And then the router, the integration part of it, connects this system, leveraging like a layer three network, into the cloud management portal. Now the cloud management portal sits in public cloud. So here is our cloud management portal. The neat thing about this is when we go to deploy it, this is already running. The cloud management portal is already ready, active. Um, it recognizes, detects this hardware infrastructure. Um, this is where you go to actually deploy any kind of workloads. There is a marketplace, a predefined marketplace that has all of the virtual machine templates, all of the workloads that you want to deploy, all the information. This system has a, it's basically a CMDB, but it has all the information um, associated with this hardware. Now, a lot of times people want to integrate our Think Agile CP, this is our CP platform, with their existing workloads. So let's just say this is, you know, legacy infrastructure. Maybe there's a bunch of VMs here. This is all in one site, so this is all one single location. There is a site router associated with this location, which that's connected to. This system's actually going to be connected into that router. You'll typically have a firewall built into that router before you get out to the network. So this is really the path that it goes through, and so that path. The workload on here is running its own networks. So there's a series of, we call them VNets, or virtual networks, that are configured at a certain subnet. One of the things that we do when we're building out this architecture for a customer that's leveraging this legacy environment and the new Think Agile CP is we define what the different routes are. Um, what that means is our router inside a CP and your router here are going to have to share routes, share a routing table. The way, you, the way you typically do that, you use something called BGP or any kind of routing sharing protocol so that these two can actually share the routes. That allows workloads running here to access the workload running here and vice versa. So the two can talk to each other. Now the neat thing about CP is let's just say you wanted to build a disaster recovery site. Well, you've already built this out. This is all in production. Now if you wanted to build out a disaster recovery site, you go over to your new location, you build out your Think Agile CP, and this is CP, we'll just call it CPDR. You connect up this router to that site router. You connect it up to that site firewall. You detect it in the CMP. Um, now this is online. This is brought up. We can access it. We can see it. Then we go into this, this cloud management platform. We basically say, here's my virtual machine. It's running on this piece over here. I want to have either a snapshot or a mirror or some other virtual machine running over here. So you build it all in the CP, and it's pretty much that easy, right? So this then becomes the ZAS recovery. It's all configured in CMP. Um, it's all stored in the database out in the cloud. Um, let's just say now this goes down. The CMP is still up. The CMP is in public cloud. It's still running. It still sees this. Immediately, your disaster recovery is running. So now this virtual machine is live and active, and you've then successfully survived a catastrophic failure at production. Now, your legacy VMs, they've also gone down, and hopefully you've realized 
that you should probably move from legacy to this new infrastructure. I appreciate your time today. I'm Eric Kern, Lenovo Professional Services. To learn more about Lenovo's cloud solutions, visit our website or ask your Lenovo sales representative or business partner about a cloud assessment, design, and migration to accelerate your journey to the cloud. Stay tuned for our next episode.